and the thing about it is I have no problem if you want to be fat. I have no problem with anybody. They will pretend I'm fine with it. But if I could give you a button that you could push and boink. Be skinny. All of a sudden you'd have this incredible body. Yep. You'd take everybody would push. We all talk about other people's bodies. You do it in your head. One percent body fat. And mm -hmm. he was like two hundred and fifty pounds. It was the most ridiculous human being I'd ever seen yeah. outside of a gym. This is like an impossible standard of beauty to try and live up to. Yeah. That's only women. Because when you see Jason Momoa playing Aquaman. You don't hear men saying that's an impossible standard of beauty. The UK has banned advertisements that uh, feature uh, unobtainable bodies. Hey, Billy Booze Bag. <laughs> hey, Billy Bitch Tits. <laughs> Data shows that most people who are obese have obese parents and they come from an obese family. You can't, like, not tell the people, look, you can't keep eating as much as you want and as shitty a food as you want and expect us to cover the bill. There's plus size models, right? And they're doing that now, uh, like Nike and their Nike store has like a big mannequin, like a fat mannequin. Joe. But they don't, they don't have plus size models for men. Joe, there what? is nothing that enrages me more than fat models. <laughs> there is nothing that enrages me more than fat fucking Why? models. Okay, let me just say something. As a comic, we want attention. Mm -hmm. We don't feel like we deserve it. So we make you laugh, so there's an even exchange. I get my attention, you get some joy, yeah, okay? Right. An actor, they want attention, they're not willing to write the script, but they'll memorize some lines. They'll do a little bit of effort to get the attention. A regular model, at least she's willing to lose weight so that she can be looked at. But these fat bitches are just like, look at me! You still I deserve to be looked at! Stop using the word Maybe bitches this. in 2019. Look at that. What the fuck?! That's that's uh that's the plus size model mannequin. This is the, 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 only, the only that doesn't thing, enrage the, you guys. The, the only thing I don't like about that doesn't that. enrage you no. that they're like just stare at me. I'm gonna eat bread all day. <laughs> no, <laughs> but you should stare at me. The only thing that bothers me about that is that's out of context because that's an oversized mannequin in workout clothes. Right. So right. Is she going to lose the weight? Yeah, she's trying to lose you weight. You know what I'm saying? She's, she's trying, trying to better herself. Okay, so I need it in some context. If, it's, yeah. if this is workout gear Listen. for overweight women who want to go lose weight, cool. Right. Other than that, why are you wearing workout gear? Because she's trying to lose weight. That's the only reason you'd be wearing it. She, she'd be even bigger if she didn't work out. She Like okay. Khaled. Imagine if Khaled didn't. <laughs> DJ Khaled needs to eat a salad! Is that what they're saying? <laughs> You gotta, you gotta have a DJ Khaled level of annoyance to succeed in life, though. Do you? Yes, you do. Oh, my God. You do, you do, you do, you do. You do. You it's do. so much. But you have to. <laughs> it's so much. He, he is the button your fucking shirt. He's the epitome. <laughs> There's no way you didn't know you could button your shirt. He's the epitome of not being afraid to ask for things. Like he you, looks like French Toast. Jesus Christ. Every time I look at him, <laughs> it's French toast. And he has no... He's, like, look at this! Oh, oh. Khaled. My Where's God. the butter Jesus. and the maple syrup? Says he lost 15 kilograms. What is that, 34 pounds? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Lost 34 pounds. Well, listen, congratulations. You can see his dick now. Congratulations He looks a little slimmer on the right. He does look a little slimmer. Oh, okay. Maybe it's a little bit. My, 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 my only... Oh, Whoa. Jesus Christ. Is that I real? I don't even know what that is. I Weight Watchers. I respect... Khaled came from radio. That's exactly what's going on with like fat models. That's it. I'm and proud. People are like you're beautiful no matter what, but that's not true. And the thing about it is, I have no problem if you want to be fat. I have no problem with anybody. If you want to be whatever the fuck you want to be, but make sure you fucking if you're fat, motherfucker, go go be fat. Go be real fucking fat. But let's be real. Nobody wants to be fat. Nobody does. That's why I said it, man. Nobody yeah, does. It's not true. They will pretend. I'm fine with it. But if I could give you a button that you could push and boink. Be skinny. All of a sudden, you'd have this incredible body. Yep. You'd take Everybody would push that button. But what happens is, man, we get in this world where it gets hard. Yeah. And so the harder it is, the more you start to push back. And the more you push back, and then it's not right for people to talk about. It's not right for, like, let's say you are fat. I was fat. That's why I talk about it. Go ahead and say something, motherfucker. I was fat, too. And it was hard as fuck every fucking day to get up. I know what it feels like when you roll your fat ass out of bed and all you want is some fucking damn cinnamon buns and shit and fucking chuck, chuck and milkshake. I, I know what it is. I know exactly what it is. But I can't want it more than you. And so many people... Just want it the easy way. It, I'm sorry, man. It's not. So what they start to do is they build this narrative. 
of it's okay. When the narrative should be, you need to fucking work harder. You need to fucking discipline your mind better. We need to help people more than just saying it's okay. It's okay that you're not fucking willing to fucking help yourself out. That's not okay. It's not okay. It's not acceptable. Even though it's your life, if that's if if that's acceptable, that's unacceptable. And there's a lot of people in this world, me included, that if I accepted that, I wouldn't be anywhere. So yeah, it's, a lot of people just fucking they they start creating a narrative about themselves that make it okay. The ultimate get out of jail free card. And now the world is set up to have so many get out of jail free cards. Everything is okay. And you can't say a motherfucking thing about it. This is what it's interesting though, is that when you're talking about how you had to come to this realization that you'd become a part-time savage, yep. this was recently. Yeah, that's uh, you're looking at 2000, no, that's not, not, 2018? Yeah. Yeah, 2018. Not that long ago. No, fuck no. Yeah, so even though you've been through all those things and you have all this information in your head, it's like there's no rest. No. You never get a chance. Mm -hmm. And if you do take a little time and start enjoying it, all of a sudden, that general in the back of your head is like, hey, hey, look what you're doing. Exactly. You're being a little bitch. Everybody has a, a, a preference for whatever their standard of beauty. That, that part I'm, I'm fine with. But my case was that when people go, you shouldn't talk about um, body types or people's bodies. I'm like, what are you talking what about? What about Bert? But what are, we, what are you talking about? Because we all talk about other people's bodies. You do it in your head. You do it to your, like you do it to yourself. You say it to yourself. You say it to your friends. It's part of the way our brains are organized. Is that you have a, a commentary about the attraction level of somebody else. Hundred percent. I mean, it's always done. Even the people who lecture you about it, those people will still. If you walked away with one of them and they're like, you're like, hey, have you seen so and so? They're like, yeah, yeah, I don't know what's going on with it. They would when still she comment. gets over two sixty, I think she goes too far. Yeah, they would still comment about yeah. it. And it's like now, <clears throat> the funny thing is to me is if you go like, well, I'm a model. Okay, so you signed up to have your photo taken because you go, I want my picture out there to show what I am. You have to be open to any criticism about it. Just like if, if I sign up to say things, I'm open to the criticism of, of you commenting on what I say. You can tell me I suck and I'm not funny. Like, I have to be able to accept that because this is what I signed up for. Yes. So you signed up to be a model. It is open season it is fair game yep. to say whatever about the way you look so i just i don't i don't embrace the idea that you can't comment about the way somebody looks who signed up for hey look at my looks that's it's their 100 percent. yeah no no if ands or buts this... i said it I'm much more rude things i, I should be clear i wasn't yeah. this um eloquent <laughs> about it I, I was like you know i, I want to see beautiful by my standards yeah uh, women and fuck it, even guys. Like if, if if you're a guy and you're model, I want you to have almost an unattainable body, right? Because that's like I go, that's a model. Like he's got a six pack, and he's fucking you know beautiful skin, and you yeah. go like that. That guy got the gift. Those yeah. those are his gifts. He's right. genetically gifted to look like that. The woman that like you know we grew up with the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue, and you would see just stunning women. They're ten out or eleven out of tens. You go, yeah, I, I don't even see a woman that looks like this ever walking around. Right. The standard of beauty. And that was your introduction to like almost fantasy, uh, getting into sex, right? Because you're like, probably a young teen and you're like, what the fuck is this? Like Elle McPherson? You're like, I've never seen a woman like this before. Right. And then I go, you know, I enjoy that personally as the standard of models. <clears throat> yeah. So for me, I don't know. You have a fucking a model that looks like she's the long snapper for the Colts. Like, I'm going to say, hey, I don't think you're a model. I think, you know, I think you should dig ditches or something. I don't know. I just feel like it's fair to say that you look like that. You're not my kind of model. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't like the way your body looks. But, I mean, it depends on what you're doing. The problem is the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue has always been beautiful women yeah. with great bodies. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole idea behind the swimsuit edition. edition. It's, almost, it's fantasy level. Yeah. They're just like... You literally could go to a hundred beaches well, all over the world. You'd never see a woman that looks like this. 
Or you might see one. Brett, maybe. And go, wow, look at her. Look, look What yeah. the fuck is that? Like when you go to a beach and there's always a guy on the beach that's just jacked, mm -hmm. shredded, and you're like, wow, you prepared for the beach, buddy. Yeah. Way you, to go. All you year it. was today. Yeah, you, you deserve know. it. Yeah. As you're walking around, strutting your stuff like a peacock. Yeah. And, and keep going back and forth. Show <laughs> us that. Walk around the pool a few <laughs> times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let it out. Let it out, buddy. I remember we were in uh, Phoenix once for a show, and we are hanging out at the pool at the W Hotel, and this fucking guy walked by, and he had like 4% body fat, and mm -hmm. he was like 250 pounds. He was the most ridiculous human being I'd ever seen yeah. outside of a gym. I was like, dude. And uh, I was with Eddie Bravo. I go, look at this motherfucker. Yeah. I go, that motherfucker looks good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you go like... He That's... was he was just like, dang, 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 yeah. just shredded everywhere. He looked like he was so excited to be at a place where he could take his shirt off. Yeah, good for him. And the good criticism is when you when you showcase that and celebrate that, that you're endorsing unattainable body types and you're making people feel bad about their body. And I just don't believe that. I just don't believe it. I believe that... You know, you all, we all have choices, and yes, we're all built different. We have different genetics, but I don't believe that having this incredible freak be the model is uh, negative for society. I don't think that that's true. It's not negative. It puts a lot of pressure on people sure. to try to look better, but so what? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Why is that a problem? Well, competition is a part of everything. Compe there's intellectual competition. When someone yeah. achieves a Nobel Prize, is that a, an unattainable level of intellect that other people can't achieve? And you sure. shouldn't flaunt that with awards? Yeah, you should. I mean, well. what do we do when someone achieves like Jeff Bezos' levels of wealth? Is that an unattainable version of wealth? We shouldn't. He shouldn't be allowed to have a yacht that's fucking sixty thousand feet high. Well, like, what do we do? There's with? people that definitely say that. You yeah, know. but yeah. why? It's like this is the, the same participation trophy crowd. Like it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, it bothers me. I, I, it irritates me that um, that people feel like you know. Well, you work really hard. It's one yeah. of the reasons why it bothers you. Yeah. Because it's like that applies to a lot of other things, too. Sure. Like, you know, like I love when like there's a supermodel, like, this is like an impossible standard of beauty to try and live up to. Yeah. 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 That's why she's on the cover of a magazine. She's that level beautiful. And you're going to try and sit there and tell me that that was learned. Well, here's the thing. That's only women. Because when you see Jason Momoa <clears throat> playing Aquaman... You don't hear men saying that's an impossible standard of beauty that we have to. No, I just keep make fun of that fucking stupid thing he has to hang on to. <laughs> <laughs> you I don't care how much you can kick my ass. That is the <laughs> dumbest. You should be on a fucking cereal box. It's a for, trident. For years, they had a problem like with Aquaman. It's like he's in the ocean. Human beings are on Earth. Like, what do we? Like, I have to see that fucking movie. To, he looks like a stripper at a bachelorette party. <laughs> he does a good one. Like, you paid money. You got a good one. Guy dieted down for that. Um, yes, he did, and he got all the abs. <coughs> so he's he's better than I am. Oh, he has, but this is this is the fall That's look. A different one. Yep. The fall look. <laughs> <laughs> this is when he's in the Black Sea. You know what I mean? He wants to fucking gets cold. Yeah. Did you see what's uh, going on in the UK? The UK has banned advertisements that uh, feature uh, unobtainable bodies. There's a, I, I, oh, I Jesus, retweeted the, the way eat I tweeted it recently. The way they eat fish and chips <clears throat> over there, that's going to be most of advertising. Well, they had uh, these ads for summer bodies. You know, you see a girl in a bikini, and they're now making it illegal to why, put those kind of ads Why can't you up. aspire to that? Like, well, I look at that Aquaman guy that makes me want to go to the gym. I don't be like, oh, you know... He's got a full head of hair. Look at like you got to make me feel better. It's because the people that complain. Who are the people that complain? The people that complain are the people that don't want to work to be that lady. They don't want to work to get that kind of a body, and they want to. They just want to not see it. They don't want any. They don't want to go to the subway and see a body that they're never going to have. Yeah, I saw. I saw an actress complaining one time because the studio told her that she she needed to lose fifteen pounds. I'm like, you can't drop 15 to star in a movie? I mean, <laughs> what what carrot can they, specifically carrots, some veggies in your diet, <laughs> what do they have to dangle in front of you to go to the fucking gym like the rest of us? Like, I literally, like, because I always say, oh, guys don't have to deal with that. It's like, yeah, we do. Of course, yes, Aquaman we do. Like, had to deal with that. What I if know, he gained 20 pounds? Dude, forget about him. If Just having five lines in a fucking movie. If I am north of 171, 72 pounds, the fucking tweets I get, hey, Billy Booze Bag, <laughs> hey, Billy Bitch Tits. <laughs> Hey, fat freckles! All of this shit that I get, like I know, like they they sit there and they like they they have like uh, they're acting like like fucking preteens. 
where everything is just everything's about them and the whole fucking world gives a shit celebrities t- t- with their fucking political views is the funniest thing ever it's like all you're you're not you're not making anybody change their mind politically i feel like i need to fucking speak up it's like no you can't have the spotlight on you enough that's all you're doing because all you're doing with that bullshit is you first of all you're alienating half the fucking people that are going to go see whatever the fuck you're in and then secondly you're just getting on the radar of lunatics in white vans with two seats that are looking up how to fucking build pipe bombs like that that's that's the fallout <laughs> It's like the jerk when he goes, average, run-of-the-mill, son-of-a-bitch, you know, when he picks Steve Martin. The idea that a girl shouldn't be asked to lose weight to look hot for a movie is fucking crazy because that's what you're playing. You're playing a hot woman. That's and there's, part of and the there, job. And there's millions. Of, dude, everybody's in shape. I remember fucking yeah. seeing, uh, I used to do a bit about this. I saw uh, Ben Stiller in, in, in Meet the Fockers or something. There was a scene where he had to have his shirt off in the pool. He had fucking abs yeah. in a comedy. Yeah. Because that's because you were seeing the influence of the fucking internet. You know what I mean? Where it's just like, you know, it gets in your head. People just fucking trashing you. Like, I already knew I was unsightly, but I didn't realize how many things that people didn't enjoy about me <laughs> until I got on the internet. I was like, wow, I never noticed that about myself. So, um, yeah, I don't have... Um, look, if somebody really has like a fucking eating disorder, you know, I feel like fucking obese. I have sympathy for those people. But if you're 15 pounds, 20 pounds well, overweight, I mean, fucking... That. <clears throat> yeah, you know, he drinks some well, fucking smoothies. These women that are playing these roles have to understand, first of all, that part of the reason why you got that role is not just because of your acting ability, but also because you're pretty. You have a beautiful face. You were born with it. You didn't even work at it. And then on top of that, you're supposed to be playing a beautiful person in the movie. They would like you to not be fat. Well, it's there's that also there's That's also discrimination. there's millions of dollars at stake yeah. that could be lost. So I always feel like your job is even if you look like me. <laughs> is to show up on time knowing your lines in the best possible shape you could get yourself in. That's, if that's the role. That's the pro- I, Even if I'm just fucking playing anybody. Well, what if you're Artie Lang? What if you're Artie Lang and you're supposed to play the guy that's smoking cigarettes and you're the brother-in-law that's drunk all the time? Then your job's yeah. to look that way. Yeah, your job's to look yeah. that way. Yeah, her job's to look like the hot woman that everybody wants to fuck. H- if h- they're telling you you have to lose weight and you're, you're a beautiful woman, it's because they want to make you more attractive. It's there's not like discrimination. There's a reason. They want a better product. Oh, they want to make money. Yeah, they want yeah, to they make want money. a better yeah. product. And uh I'll tell you another thing too. Like really, that those both male and female, like those beautiful people at that level, it's like they're fucking aliens. Like I I've done a couple of movies. I did a movie one time and I remember uh it was a scene we were in a car and the star of the movie was holding onto the steering wheel and I was like like I never thought this ever about a woman. I was like, her forearms are gorgeous. <laughs> I was looking at him like, like, I was like, those forearms are perfect. <laughs> but I didn't make me, when I went to Stockholm, Sweden, how beautiful the people were there. I was walking down the street pointing at guys with my wife going, Nia, look at that guy. Look at that. That fucking guy, like he's like an accountant walking down the street. He's like, does he know if he fucking came over here, he'd be starring in movies? And that's not all of Sweden, by the way. That's like just when you're in Stockholm. That's like their Manhattan. So all the beautiful fucking people. But I mean, I went into a couple. I went to this mag. Went and uh, bought like a, a magazine or something like that when I was over there. And the woman behind the counter was like a fucking eleven here, but she was working at a magazine stand. So that was her energy. Like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm working in a magazine stand. <laughs> My dream hasn't come true yet. And you're just looking at him like you you could sign with a who was that big uh, modeling Ford. agents? Yeah, like that all like Cindy Crawford yeah. and all them were worth back in the day. The Vikings, it's Viking blood. They the best looking people. They they went over there and raped and pillaged, and all that good DNA is left there. They caught the best women. They kept them alive. Killed everybody else. Oh, is that what happened? Oh yeah. I don't know what happened. Vikings, but, but like uh, that's why they're so big, beautiful. Oh yeah, no, they're super Perfect tall. Features. That's one of the funniest things ever. When you go over to, to like uh, the uh, what do they call those? The Nordic, mm-hmm. and then Scandinavia is within the Nordic countries. I always have to remind myself of that. Like you go over there, it was the funniest fucking shit because they're so goddamn tall. There would be kids almost my height whose voices hadn't changed yet, and they had the mentality of like an eleven year old. They'd be like, "Mom, I want to." Except they were speaking that. I said, "How's it here? How did?" When they were talking. <laughs> and- <laughs> Their voice hadn't changed yet. And I was just sitting there laughing my ass off, going, These are like fucking Yeah, they like everybody was like uh like six three, six four, six five, like rail thin with their fucking European pants. 
you see that books. lady on C and on uh, 60 Minutes? They interviewed her. She's uh, some new um, w- woman who works in the White House. Uh, and they asked her about obesity. She said the number one cause of obesity is genetics. And it doesn't matter what you do. Like you could, you could, you could be a person who has a perfect diet and exercises and sleeps right, and you're still obese. Mm-hmm. And the health experts went fucking nuts. Like that's not what the data shows. The data shows that most people who are obese have obese parents, and they come from an obese family. But they're all doing the wrong thing. It's not. There's not like. A person in that family that's eating grass-fed steak and running marathons and lifting weights and get up, getting up at six in the morning and getting in a cold plunge and doing all these different things, but it's still fat as fuck. Yeah. And they're they're watching the calories in and calories out and they're burning, you know, a uh, thousand calories a day in exercise and they're still fat as fuck. That's not real. Like to say that and to say it on 60 Minutes, there's this weird thing going on where people want to say it's not your fault and it isn't your fault. I mean, if you believe in determinism, if you believe in the impact of the people around you and the environment that you're in, which is most certainly real, the impact of your parents, the impact of uh, modeling, you're modeling after other people's bad decision making, that's all real. That's 100% real. But to say that all obesity is just genetic is bonkers. That's a bonkers thing to say. And it discredits all these people that we know that were obese, that without surgery, lost all that weight and looked great. Like Ethan Soupli, perfect example. There was a guy that was at one point in time like 500 plus pounds, right? How big was Ethan was yet his biggest? But anyway, Doc, Jamie will find out, documented all of it, did it publicly because he was a fucking star. He's a famous actor, lost all the weight, now looks great and did it through exercise and discipline and, and even like was really open about the fact that he gained a lot of it back a couple times. He went from 550 to 255. He did that. Wow. He did that himself. I mean, he 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 did it and he documented it and he had to go through surgery to get the skin removed so that his uh, you know, he wasn't like a flying squirrel. But but he did it. And to say that you that it's all genetic. Like no, he had the same genes. Like this is the same guy. It's not. And it's also not inspiring. Yes. So like uh, to to say that it's, I mean, that but that's the tension. If you say it's all genetic or it's significantly genetic, then you're encouraging people to be more accepting of the challenges of other people's lives. Like your life might be e- everybody's walking a hard road is basically the philosophical thing that you don't just because it's easy for you to exercise doesn't mean it's easy for others to exercise sort of but, but aren't they uh, also but, saying you don't even have to walk that road because it's not yeah, going to help yeah, you exactly so that's a very poor statement of that it's a it's a trade-off i mean that's it's a different philosophies pull up pull yourself up by your bootstraps right it's a really inspiring powerful empowering philosophy but it's like yeah well sometimes it's, it's harder you can't others. you can't say that because different people have different some people don't even have fucking shoes yeah. like the idea of pull yourself up by your bootstraps is stupid and the i did it why knew no you did it with your life the idea that your life, because it was difficult, is exactly the same as somebody else's life, which may be more difficult or have insurmountable obstacles that are in the way. There's also like different uh, temperaments, different uh, mental fortitude that people are just, for whatever reason, from the womb have. Some people are just determined from the time they're really young, and some people are just not. Some people are discouraged easily, and some people are not, and I don't know why. Yeah. But to say that, there's no way yeah is crazy to say there's no way is like that's irresponsible and it's also like to say that and just put it on 60 minutes hey guys that's not true and you could talk to a lot of people that have lost weight and they'll tell you it's not true it doesn't mean that the people who are obese didn't get a really bad hand genetically a really bad hand in terms of the environment they grew up with yeah they, they got dealt a bad hand no doubt it's not the same as someone who grows up in a house where everybody's skinny and the fucking whole family runs. Like, no, it's not going to be the same. Someone who's eating organic and the, the you know the whole family like does a lot of exercise and does stuff together. Yeah, that they're going to be thinner. Yeah. yeah, but it's like you can't lie. You can't lie, and you can't be a fucking. You can't expect me to think that you're really an expert when you say things like that. Yeah, but you also can't criticize Bill Gates by saying he has a soft body. Of course you can. Of course you're being a comedian, but but he does. And if he's talking about health, no, hey, buddy, get your house in order first. 
Yeah. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of incredible doctors that don't have their house in order. That's true. But yeah. if you're giving health advice, one of the core components to health is your metabolic health. Your oh, overall metabolic I'll put health. Up this story right out of the gate, they're talking about using that drug, that semaglutide itself. Oh, no. talking about. Is that what they're doing? So this is like an ad for semaglutide? Uh, uh, I don't. I'm not saying that, but that's what it seems like. Oh my god. There's even like a whole thing about the shortages of it. Oh no. So well, like, you know, um, I think Huberman was discussing this. He might have been discussing this with Peter Atia, and they were discussing that um, semaglutide doesn't just make you lose um, fat. But also makes you lose muscle in many cases. In the game. You That's can't wrong. like not tell the people, look, you can't keep eating as much as you want and as shitty a food as you want and expect us to cover the bill. You just can't. That is not something that anybody wants to hear, though. Oh, I know, because I did that editorial. And, <coughs> and I then, know, I remember that. People got upset at you. Well, people, here's the story. People did not. People loved it until James Corden said something. Oh, that's right. He had that whole... First of all, he did that, and in doing that, made fat jokes. Which was yeah, which I, was like, I did not, by the Jesus way. Jesus Christ, yeah. Mine, well, mine we were was, there was nothing obesity cheap on morbid it. Morbid people. Look, morbidly obese people. Ever, first of all, he missed a great opportunity to literally save lives. If he had taken the opposite approach, he took the, the easy way out. Of course, you can always get applause for saying, oh... Let's let's boo the mean man who's told yeah. the truth. That's not brave. Um, first of all, my point was a that you can't solve health care unless you ask the people to participate in that. That was one, and also that we've gone to this place where we're proud of it. We're proud of being unhealthy. Weight Watchers had to take the name Weight and Watchers out of their title. It's WW now. It it's like we. What? It's see, being <laughs> fat isn't bad. What's bad is someone pointing out that fat is bad. But, I mean, I read the statistic in that editorial. 40,000 people a month, a month die from obesity. That's a crazy number. That is a crazy number. We have to somehow reverse this idea that we have in this country, not just about obesity, but about a lot of things where I'm perfect the way I am. Mm. I am just perfect the way I am. And if you say different, you're a very bad person. That's not a good place to be. It's not healthy for anybody. It's You're, you're protecting people's emotions, but shielding them from a possible right. moment that might make them realize that they are eating themselves to death. And right. I mean, look, I said it also in the piece, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. That's fine. Whatever you think is beautiful, that's your deal. But health is science. Yeah. That's science. And when we get apoplectic when there's 50 deaths from shootings or something a month, yeah, it's very bad and we should be serious about that problem. But 50 versus 40,000 every month? And that's just what they're counting from the big ones, cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. There's literally nothing about your health that is improved by being overweight. So, you know, I said we, we shouldn't taunt people. But, you know, compare it to anything else. I also owned up to the fact that I used to drink too much and I smoked. But I didn't defend it. When someone said, you know, you went kind of hard last night with the drinking, I didn't say, how dare you drunk shame me. Well, the weird thing I about said, Corden, you're right, I did. The weird thing about Corden, too, is he's not that fat. Like, he could fix that in a couple of months. That's not that hard. No, he like, took an, it. Was a, it was opportunistic. Yes, and I'm, I felt I'm like saying that, too. Yeah. He could have, he literally lost an opportunity to save lives. Because as someone who does struggle with weight, he could have taken the opposite approach and said, you know, he, Bill makes a really good point, and um, we should we should look at how we are dealing with this. I, I noticed Jillian Michaels, the fitness expert, she took a lot of shit for Lizzo. For Lizzo, yeah, and you know, 
if if you want to be whatever weight you want to be, that's fine. But it's wrong to shame a fitness expert for saying this isn't healthy. Well, it gets even. She crazier. said it's not going to be that amazing when she gets diabetes. Yeah, and people want not diabetes has nothing to do with weight. Uh, diabetes has for sure. everything to for, do with fucking, it. Fucking for sure it does. Also, they 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 lie. They say things like, "Well, it's the fat gene." It's there, you know, there's not a, <laughs> it's not that. Or here's another one. And look, this is valid. It's valid that. In this country, it is a lot harder to eat right if you're poor. Yes. And we should totally address that. Yes. I doubt if it's on any candidate's top 10 list, but the way the food situation and subsidies are done in this country is horrible. But given that, let's not just throw up our hands and say we're the can't-do country. And because it's harder, let's not even try. Yes, it is harder to eat right on a budget. But I'll tell you something, something you never need to have with your food, soda, which is a large part of it, okay? Huge. And you'll save money. You yeah. don't have to have soda. You don't have to have a Snickers bar. A banana is 19 cents. So it's not impossible. Adele got shit recently because she got yes. skinny. Yes. Because she got healthier. That was also a part of my thing, was <laughs> fit shaming. Yeah, Not fat shaming. Yeah. People go, eat something. Eat something. I'm fine. What? So you can feel better about your weight problem. I should eat and get fat too. Well, when heavy people have a fan or have someone that they're a fan of that's also heavy like james corden like so he's heavy he's got people in the audience that love him and they love him standing up for other heavy people yeah we're fine we're fine he's one of us we're fine i think they felt like that with adele that adele was this fantastic singer super talented extremely popular and overweight like yeah it's fine it's fine i'm like adele everyone's fine it wasn't but then she loses weight like you feel like she's betraying you because one of the reasons why i liked you is because you're fat now it, you're not fat anymore it wasn't that long ago that we were applauding people when they lost weight yeah i remember when remember when oprah came out that time was she was oh this was like in the 80s i think but she had lost a whole bunch of well there's a picture you it's a very famous picture yeah. i think she's she's like in jeans and she's got a like really thin waist and you know she was raising her hands in triumph and everyone was applauding i guess that's bad now because again you have to be perfect the way you are and if you criticize that then you're a bad person 